I'm going to talk about a new function that's being added to MarkEdit uh, 5.5. It's a function that I'm hoping will help people be able to find um, new XSLT crosswalks for use with MarkEdit and also potentially able to share crosswalks that they've created with other people within the MarkEdit community. Um, to find it, we go to Mark Tools like we would if we were going to do general crosswalking. Um, by default, MarkEdit has a set of defined XML conversions. It's a pretty small list. These are ones that I've provided um, for when you first download the program. They include things like Dublin Core, EAD, um, mods, but there are a handful of other ones that have been created both by myself and others. Um, right now, uh, in order to add new crosswalks, you have to basically create them yourself and then add them to this edit XML function list. What I'm doing is I'm creating a way for you to find um, created XSLTs. Um, so if you go ahead and click on the edit function list, there's a new button called search. If we pull that up, we get a box where we can do a search. Um, right here, where there's only a handful there right now, so I'll go ahead and say view and I can see the crosswalks that have currently been set up and for sharing. There is an archival where to mark XML, an EAD to mark XML, a IIIX record to mark XML, an Onyx, Project Gutenberg, and request dissertation. Um, I can look at them and go ahead and view them and see what they look like. Uh, I can also download them. Right now, uh, the program doesn't automatically install crosswalks if you download them. Um, basically what it's doing is allowing you to download them and then set up the crosswalk for use within MarkEdit. So I'll go ahead and download the ProQuest dissertation one and go ahead and just drop it on my desktop. And so it's gone ahead and been downloaded and now I can add that particular crosswalk to MarkEdit. So I can go ahead and say ProQuest downloaded to mark. Um, I'll go ahead and tell it where I dropped it. And then I just need to tell it a little bit about the format. So the original format is going to be ProQuest XML. We're going to translate it to mark. Um, I'm going to tell it that I want to convert it to mark 8 because that's what uh, I might want to use. Otherwise I can leave it che unchecked and leave it as a uh, Unicode. Um, but I'll go ahead and check it and then I'll tell it OK and the new crosswalk has been added to mark edit. You can see it right here and can be used now to process XML records um, that are in this ProQuest format and translated directly to mark. So what I'm hoping with this function is that um, it'll make it so that it's easier for me to share crosswalks that I've created. For example, crosswalks that um, translate uh, DSpace's Dublin Core um, to a more um, useful mark when you're dealing with um, things like theses and dissertations um, or various other formats that um, I deal with. But I'd also like to hope that you know somewhere down the road um, in the very near future uh, the tool will be enhanced so that not only can you search for XSLT crosswalks that have been created but also be able to add your own. So um, that's uh, something new uh, that will be coming um, in a update, uh, an, an update uh, coming to Mark Edit um, probably sometime in the next uh, uh, week or so. Um, so sometime around um, the uh, early part of October 2011.